Hi, I'm Chuck Dorsett for Weaver Leather Supply, and this is The Leather Element. If you've got a good question for us, or a good idea for a leather element, drop it in the comment box below. Also, if you want to know when our videos release, just click your notifications. You'll know exactly when these come out. So let's get creative, have fun with this one. I love a filigree cut. It's one of my favorite techniques. We're going to cut through the face leather, bring another leather up behind that. Well, here's the downside. We have to cut these by hand. Well, if you're not comfortable doing that, actually, it's not a problem. If we think about it, we've got English punches, round ends, oblongs, corner knots, round holes. We've got all kinds of ways to punch a filigree as opposed to cutting it. So let's just get creative here, pick up the tools we've got in our shop, and see what happens. We don't have to have exactly these tools and exactly these sizes. Like I said, let's pick up whatever we've got in our shop, a little scrap, and let's experiment. There's no telling what's going to come out. In fact, we may create something no one has ever seen. Now, I should use a template for each one of these, but at this point, we're just experimenting. So let's start with a swirl, a common design in leather craft. So let's start with a 40 millimeter corner knife. Now, this is not a dry punch. You don't need a mallet here. It's actually a knife. So let's start right here. Let's press that in. Good. Make sure we've got a good cut. Let's come back to a half inch round hole punch down here at the end. I'm going to do my best to hit that right on the center line of that round punch. Okay, we've got that. Now let's step down to our 30 millimeter corner knife and let's see if we can connect the two. There we go. We've got a perfect swirl. That's exactly what I'm talking about. That would be tough to cut by hand, but takes no time at all with our tools, okay? How about a sunrise? So let's start. Let's see, this is our 25 millimeter. Let's put that in. Now, we could use an oblong right across there, but let's just go with our knife. Let's just cut a straight line across that. Okay, we've got that. Now over to a one inch oblong. Now, this is where a template would really help because I want to make sure these rays go in the right direction, but again, we're just experimenting. So let's drop in an oblong. Let's just work our way around. And there we go. Well, that's pretty cool. It's a very simple design. Now, technically, our sun rays should be a little bit larger or wider at the top than the bottom. So if we mark this from a template, all we have to do is let's just scoot our oblong over a little bit, say to the left, and then a little bit to the right. Well, there we go. Okay. How about a cool, simple little border design? So let's start right here with our one inch oblong. Now, again, we can measure this out. But that's close enough, okay? Now we're going with a 5 8 inch English punch. There we go. Actually, that's pretty cool. But it's just a basic idea of so many possibilities, all right? We've got a feel for some simple designs, so let's step these up a little bit. And just a few examples of a filigree cut, and this is why I love this so much. We can bring in a, a matching or contrasting color or texture, and the design shape, sky literally is the limit. In fact, both of these are hand cut, but right there, that's just our round end punch. So, stepping it up a little bit, absolutely, with our English punch. And again, the big point, let's pick up what we've got in our shop and just experiment right there. That's actually a pretty cool design, the piece that comes out. And yet again, that's just different sizes in English punches. And I think this is one of my all time favorites. I have yet to use this on a project, but I'm going to just simply a dog bone. Bring in a different color behind that. That looks good, but that's just round punches and we're cutting in between. Similar right here. Actually, this is a nice design. Well, for us costume folks, I like both pieces actually, but for the rest of us, that'd be a great tag for our maker's mark. Rivet that on with two rivets, maybe a foil stamp name on that. 
that would look good. And we can absolutely get creative, work with all of these tools in combination. That's a nice design, but I really like that. Same here. Now, sometimes we can take the punch out and that makes a great design, but sometimes it just doesn't work. And then round in punches and round hole. Again, I like both shapes. There are so many ways we can go with this. So again, just pick up some tools, some scrap, have a great time with it. Who knows what's going to come out. If you're not comfortable cutting freehand, well, it's no issue. Our punch tools are going to make all kinds of creative designs, and we've got all kinds of punches we can use. But I do hope this gets the creative gears turning, and I hope you come up with something beautiful. Thanks for taking time to watch The Leather Element. Good luck with your projects.